everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on The Super Friends, issue number 22. Now, as you know, The Super Friends was a TV series that was created and produced by Hanna-Barbera, that was like their own version of the Justice League, and yeah, had a comic book tie-in. So the cover has Kroner basically using his hourglass to kind of freeze the Justice, I mean the Super Friends, with Jana and Zen looking on with Batman and that. And it starts off how a group of masked luchadors attempt to make a break for it, and Batman and Robin go after them. So of course the Wonder Twins are impressed with Batman and Robin's work, and meanwhile, Batman and Robin says, We've been waiting five minutes now. And so a farmer says that he did see them, and that it was like half an hour ago. So of course they find it a bit suspicious, and Batman uses the whirly bat to find them. And of course they're like, Hurry it up! Get that plane fueled! Why? Rush, we left the police in the dust. We're safe. And of course, Batman shows up to confront the, the Luchador robbers. And of course, takes them down single-handedly. And of course, Krona sees the failure of his plan. And keep in mind, is meant to be a foe of the Atom. So of course, the Super Friends talk with the Mayor and that. And of course, um, they get a bulleting that a missile's coming down on Earth. So Superman and that has to kind of stop it to make sure it doesn't hit a populated area. And of course, Superman says, Odd, no sign of the missile. I could... I could have been wrong. And of course, the missile ends up hitting a large vessel. And of course, Aquaman uses his telepathy to help the boat be supported by a group of whales. And of course, the captain of the ship gives his thanks. So of course, every area like buses, trains, and planes, and fireplaces have all been basically extra late. And of course, the mayor says, we're in total chaos. Our last hope is the Super Friends. So of course Wonder Woman's been waiting for her date, which is implied to be Steve Trevor, and of course sees that a blimp isn't is not supposed to be in the Gotham area, and goes to investigate. With Wonder Woman's boyfriend showing up and not really knowing where Diana is, and of course Diana finds the kind of like area, and of course they kind of tell. She kind of tells the Super Friends what's going on, and of course her and Superman go in to stop it. So of course Kroner and his henchmen activate the device that traps Superman in a kind of time sort of thing to make him slow down. And of course Wonder Woman uses her lasso to bring Superman back, and he says, What's wrong, Wonder Woman? Why did you stop me from capturing Krona? And of course she says that she'll explain. Which he does point out to the other team. And of course they have a way to kind of stop Krona. Of course they use Superman's strength to to block off a, a waterfall. The Wonder Twins using their powers. And Batman tricking Krona into thinking time has stopped. And of course their henchmen now worry about the fails of this plan, and of course says, I'm going to turn off the field! No! All I need is time to think of a way to! And of course presses the device, that turns off time, and of course they manage to manipulate Trick Kroner, and of course the Super Friends go in with guns blazing, pretty much manage to capture Kroner's henchmen, and in the end, Batman saying, allow me, me one more observation, Krona. Someone to billion dollars from Gotham was too little and too late. 
And of course, this was the story. So, what do I think of issue 22? It's actually alright. I think it does have a good story for a TV episode. I think the story did sort of imply that there was going to be a much different story until being altered. I kind of feel you could have had the Adam and the Wonder Twins being a bit more involved, like have Ray Palmer having doubts about his shrinking technology or something. But beside it, it's an alright issue. So it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.